I think now more than ever in public education, we need real, true corporate partners. And I can't think of anyone better than Sanderson Farms. And what's neat about Sanderson Farm is that they're there for you, they're not pushy, but, they, but you know when you need them, uh, they're gonna be available. We have a focus in the Laurel Schools on the three A's, academics, athletics, and arts. And I have countless examples of where, uh, when we've needed something in those areas, Sanderson Farm has been there for us. There were those that initially thought that Sanderson Farms could possibly create a burden in many different ways, part of it being on the school system, but the reality of it was that the end result was just the opposite. Uh, Sanderson Farms located here, they brought many advantages with them that translated into benefits in the homes, and it's always the home where the education of a child begins and then in turn, that translated into benefits to the school system and community. We generally offer new industries or expanding industries, Avalorum tax concessions that would cover their city, their county, and their school taxes. And Sanderson's the only company that we've ever dealt with that had elected to pay the school taxes from day one. And that says a lot about the company. Sanderson Farms has, as I said, uh, been a wonderful employer. Uh, they have uh, added to our tax local tax base uh, greatly. Um, I do have a scholarship program that I uh, implemented 15 years ago in Sanderson Forms has been very instrumental in helping support uh, those scholarships and helping students with their obligations to, uh, to college. So Sanderson Forms has been wonderful in terms of uh, dealing with uh, education and promoting education uh, throughout the state of Mississippi. Through the years that I've been working with our school district, which I started in 1995, I have seen several students who have completed high school, college, and are now working in productive uh, positions here at Sanderson. When Sanderson Farms located here, and I believe opened in 2005, there was the, the only substantive change, there, there was no substantive change in the demographics of the Coughlin County Schools. Uh, the only substantive change that directly related to Sanderson Farms was in the first 12 months that they were operational, the one cent sales tax for school purposes that is collected locally went up 18%. But it affected no changes in the demographics. The folks that were hired were already here. They were folks that were looking for employment. The whole business of education is to give people hope that they have a bright future and to know that back home, if they want to come home, there are major corporations that not only from the processing side, but we're talking about the marketing, we're talking about the accounting. Uh, so there's so many, pr the professional aspect of having Sanderson Farms corporate headquarters right here in Laurel, Mississippi, allows our young people to go off and get a first class college education, but know that they're to, they want to be what they say in the corporate world, well, guess what? Right here in Laurel, we have one of the top corporations in the country. I believe that Sanderson Farm realized that without schools, they couldn't be who they are today because the schools produce the people that are a part of their organization and they're looking for excellence and we're trying to produce excellence. So I believe that.